Hi guys, my name is Grace and I'm doing another pick a card reading. This reading will be about you have a future together with that person, with your person, with that person in your, in your mind right now. So this is card number one, card number two, and card number three. So pick and choose your card and then I'll head on to the reading. Um, I head on and do the reading right now. Okay, start with the group number one. Two of Cups in Rivers. And Five of Wands. Okay, so... I feel like um, this person that represents the two of cups, either you or the other person, person that you're dealing with, um, might feel and think that this is some um, the person that they're dealing with is their soulmate. But at the moment, they might think that um, it's not possible right now, and um, they might feel disheartened. Okay, because when you feel like someone is your soulmate, you might, you might want to happen. You might want this connection to happen now, like right now. Your soul wants that because you really feel this deep connection with this person. But because of like circumstances and um, things that is happen, um, that are happening, the blockages that um, we need healing from, it's not happening at the at the moment. So. I feel like that's why this other person is disheartened because there's an authentic connection here. Okay? So for the other person, the energy of the other person, you or the other person that you're dealing with is the five of wands. So yeah. I feel like this person's energy is currently focused on trying to break free from um from programming from old beliefs from um old structures because we have we see you're freeing your expression five of wands in an upright so this is someone that can be dealing with a lot of conflict so this other person might feel like the their, their person is not focusing on them because this person here is dealing with other things okay there it's they're focused on other things they they feel like they need to clear this up first and they need to heal from this, whatever situation this is. Face this situation. This is our like things that um in front of them right now that they, they feel like they need to deal with. Okay? Unless they they're able to deal with this, they're not gonna be able to be free and have that personal freedom. Because it's very important in terms of this person's happiness. Their soul wants to break free from this. So they're currently like fighting. Whether it's an internal battle or like battle with other people. Because of five of wands, I always see it as someone's battling um, other people. A lot of people. People that have different opinions, different views. And um, maybe it's, a, it's their views. The other people's views are important to them because they might be family blood as in blood in blood or they're the people that they care about okay friends close friends even so yeah i feel like this person here is just feeling this sad longing with this um connection with this two of cups here in rivers okay Maybe this person here is too focused on this other person when they might need um they might really need to focus on themselves right now. Okay? The love that they're looking for from this other person is within themselves. I mean the love that they can find from them from them from loving their own self. So they can feel whole. Okay? That's what I'm getting. Now let's see the past, present, and do you have a future with this person? So 
So in the past, what has happened in the past? There is an ending in um, in a situation, maybe in this connection. For some of you, you might have already been involved with this person. Yeah, and this and again, the five of ones is here again. So there's conflict, and there were other people involved. This connection has to end abruptly. It ended as soon as it it started. I feel like it's not very, um, it's it wasn't very long. It was very intense, but it it needs um, it shattered. <laughs> it ended, okay, very abruptly. What else? We have here the Four of Swords. Um, in the past, people have needed to go through um, meditation, healing, contemplation, contemplating, reflection, reflecting, rest. Yeah, because after all this conflict and whatever has take taken place and whatever has ended, it's very like tiring to deal with. So. People had to go through um, rest. So that's what happened in the past. So I really feel like for most of you, you've already dealt with this person. Um, you you might have already been with this person. Or like it's almost like it might be like an almost connection, an almost relationship. Like it's almost there, but somehow it didn't. It didn't really blossom. <laughs> it's um I don't know where I'm getting all these words, but it just didn't really reach its its full potential. So there might be like regrets and um like what if what ifs within this connection? Like what if this happened? What if that happened? What if I chose a different thing? What if um what ifs <laughs> what if i made a different choice so what's happening currently in the present okay, okay. first card six of cups in reverse in the present moment people within this connection you the other person or both of you I might still be stuck with remembering the memories in the past, but um, it's in reverse because this is another like soulmate card. Um, it's in reverse because you might be stuck stuck in nostalgia. Yeah, when you when you're too focused on the past, you're not able to really live in the present moment. Okay, so that's that. What else? happening in the present moment it's two of cups uh, no i mean two of cups is there so maybe yeah two of cups is still there the feeling of disconnection is still there that's why probably i mentioned two of cups even though it's a two of swords um but there are secrets someone from disconnection you or the other person are still keeping secrets not expressing their emotions because there's a lot of emotions um, that is not present on the surface like they're not revealing and this uh, it's not being seen on a surface level but it's already like deep 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 emotions they're um protecting their heart okay i feel like they're trying to um use logic to be able to protect their heart um so they're in a stalemate at the moment they're trying to make a choice they're trying to act rationally but they're keeping secrets and they're keeping deep deep emotions someone in this connection could be you both of you or the other person at the present moment we have read the death card 
in reverse. So people are still unwilling to change their ways. So I feel like the tower moment happened already in the in the past, but this might happen again if people are still resisting to the changes. Because the thing is, we need to be able to flow through the changes that are happening within our lives. That's why these tower moments happen, okay? Because our ego mind wants to stay, uh, make um, stay on the same situation. Like our ego mind wants to stay in the in where we're comfortable, our comfort zone. But when you really think about it, before we get to that comfort zone, this situation that once we're this situation that we're in right now that we're comfortable in it was once an uncomfortable uncomfortable for us when this first happened we were once in uncomfortable in this situation and it became our comfort zone now we don't we don't want to move from from this situation whatever this is so but life we need to move and flow through the changes within our lives because our soul wants to keep on growing okay and if we're resisting the changes i feel like we 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 will we find ourselves to be struggling from this it doesn't have to be hard but um i feel like we make it hard by resisting the changes so People resisting the changes, both of you, the other person, or just you, you know it. You know what you're resisting. The changes within your life that you need to. Maybe um, if you're fo if you're the one that really is focused in this um, connection, is in to focus in this connection, maybe there's something in your life that you really need to um, focus on, that you really need to make the changes. Um but you're not doing it maybe yeah it's keeping you stuck keeping the other person stuck because you're both um i feel like you're both mirroring each other so now let's see do we this this connection if this resonates so far then this connect um this reading is for you really um do does this connection have a future do you have a future with this person? What's the possibility? Do you have a future with this kind of, uh, person? Ooh, the tower card again. Again, the tower card is here for the second time. So I feel like the passion and intensity within this connection is still there. But right now, because people... I feel like people have learned in a way um what I get is this tower moment is not something that is unexpected. This was unexpected, this one that happened in the past, but this one that is happening in in the future is not un unexpected anymore because if people are still like this in the present moment, not willing to change with the death card in reverse. Eight of Swords, okay. I feel like actually this is someone that releasing themselves from being stuck, okay? Because they were, um, I feel like this being in Two of Swords right now in the present moment is being um, in a stalemate, isn't it? So I feel like this continues and this person you and the other person or both of you were able to release yourselves from this um mental thoughts that is keeping you imprisoned within your own like you're imprisoned when the eight of swords come up it's be you're you being imprisoned within your own thoughts okay and most of those thoughts maybe um are just your inner critic they're not even real they might even be illusions do you have a future with this person seven of i feel like this is 
Seven of Cups in Reverse. This is releasing yourselves from confusion. I feel like in the future, people will find more be, um, clarity in the situations. Okay? I feel like some people will choose to um, go on a, a, a different relationship, a connection. And some people will choose to stay in this connection. Um, I mean, if you're not the person that will that is choosing to go on a, to a different connection, then don't be triggered. And it's not it's not for you. It's a general reading. Um, I'm still not quite clear, so I'm gonna pick one, two more cards. Okay, okay, right. I feel like for those of you who chooses to stay in this connection, there's a possibility that whatever was built, um, they built or you built, because the tower card happens when you build something that is not honest, that is not authentic. And um, I mean, it will inevitably broke down. Okay, it will inevitably broke down because it's not um, built on a stable foundation. Maybe it's maybe the, you or um, the person that you're dealing with have built it with someone else. Okay, maybe they, they were in a another connection and they felt safe in that connection. So safety is different from love, but it, it inevitably, inevitably broke down because it wasn't authentic. People, but people will find greater clarity and will release for themselves from being stuck in within their own heads and within their own thoughts. Okay, and uh, for those of you choosing to stay in this connection, I feel like once you find this greater clarity, just set yourself on what you really desire. Okay, you're not gonna be able to have this ace of pentacles so there is still a positive thing in this connection after all this take place okay this tower moment releasing um selves from yourselves from these mental thoughts gaining more clarity ace of pentacles can happen okay so this is commitment this is long-term commitment that is possible in the future but this needs to happen first. All these three things needs to happen first. Okay? This is greater commitment and more serious connection relationship is possible. Okay? So, do you have a future together, I guess? Yes. But it's your choice whether you want to stay in this connection. Yeah. So, that's your reading. Um, every situation is different. So... If you need more clarification, um, you can book a personal. But I hope this helped you and I love you so much and I'm sending you. Now this reading is for the people who pick card number two, okay? So one of these cards will be your energy and one of these cards will be the energy of the other persons now that you're dealing with. Now it's up to you to really feel and decide which one is you and which one is the other person. Sometimes it can be confusing. You have like, you feel like you resonate with this and you resonate with this. But let's see. One of you is the high priestess, very intuitive. This person, I feel like they naturally see red flags. Okay, they naturally see. Um, they might have not always trusted their their emotions. I mean, their intuition, their gut instinct, but it's. They find out it's always right, and they're able to see the um like if you they see like a person that they first they met for the first time. They will know if that person can be trusted or not, okay, without any rational explanation at up to why. They just feel like something's off with this person, and that might seem might be perceived as judgments in the but. As being judgmental but like internally you might feel like why am I judging this person but you know in your gut that there's something that is off 
and even though you want this person you want really want this person to um you want to give um the benefit of a doubt but you know it just makes you feel like extra careful but also this can be someone that is blinded okay has always been blinded with their intuition but now they finally see something it could be someone that has gone through a spiritual awakening so that's the energy of this person they're um they're now trusting their intuition they're now connecting with their feminine side of themselves whether they're is there a man or a woman doesn't matter okay i feel like this one is um is the hermit yeah this is the hermit card the light of introspection someone from this connection is currently in a hermit mode so they might be out of touch with if you're the person that you feel you you resonate with this okay um this is i feel like a power couple really they they really are um i feel like they feel i feel like they're aligned with their energies at the moment if you feel like you're the more intuitive person if you feel like you're the high priestess you probably intuitively feel that this person is not really trying to ignore you they are currently in the in the hermit mode okay which means that they might um they they're just dealing with their own selves they're finding their own path okay um this is i feel like someone that doesn't want to trust like just the books or what they read they want to experience things they want to experience things for for um so that they will know that's how they know that um they're choosing the right path i feel like this this person wants to experience it so they're going through the dark a dark period but i feel like they're um they're finally like so close to going um to seeing like the end the light at the end of the tunnel and i feel like this is someone that is has a path that this person has gone through so much and they're going through the hermit mode they might be going through a dark uh, dark night of the soul so this might be you or the other person that you're dealing with and now i feel like this person has a path of becoming like maybe a spiritual teacher a teacher of some sort or like inspiring other people to teach about what they find out like what whatever um learnings <laughs> whatever it is that they found out um this person i feel like meant to teach so yeah v both very like um going through like spiritual things both very like spiritual at the moment what i'm getting so yeah because this person is going through solitude okay could be the nine here now we'll check what happened in the past what really took place in the past within if this is resonating so far then let's see what happened in the past what took place in the past before i answered if you have a future together we'll see what took place in the past okay queen of cups king of wands and the knight of swords okay cup wands air fire water and air mix there's passion within this connection yes someone is really meant to be um a, f a leader here with the king of wands this is someone that is this is what i usually the card that i see when someone has this so much light within them 
that um they're meant to like be a leader like they they're meant to um have like followers of some sort so because they're meant to teach something queen of cups what i'm hearing is unreciprocated love in the past and this has might have caused sadness um depression and we have a knight of swords i feel like people might have been harsh with words okay because this is someone that is just really like have like go 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 attitude but at the same time they're not really they're quite impulsive they're not really thinking they might be harsh with their words they, and um they might be thinking rationally but they may be harsh with their words um Okay, so my, someone might have embodied this Queen of Cups in reverse energy, and someone is um maybe it's a fire and a, and a fire and an a, um in a in a water sign. Doesn't have to be. We also have an air sign here. I don't know why I'm mentioning signs, but I just feel guided to do that. I feel like this is someone that someone was more focused on their career and someone was more focused on this love this person was more focused on their career and um the queen of cups in reverse and reciprocated love the knight of swords this could could have been like arguments i, I do i don't feel like this is being this might be like people being defensive, but I don't feel like it's it's I feel like it's more like people were just being honest when this when this took place, whatever this is, I feel like this is like when people have communicated, but harsh words, harsh words. Still not very clear what happened in the past. I'll get one more card. Yeah. Six of Wands. People more focused on achievements. Okay. You or the other person might have been more focused on achieving things. Might have have been um been in a way of from this connection, and um it this is also for me I see this as an ego card, okay people are more in their ego, so that's probably why there's there were harsh words also. There's ego. Now let's see what's happening in the present moment. <laughs> six of wands six of wands again now this six of wands this is um something happened whoever this has ego maybe both of you has ego issues that you need to deal with and um like i feel like this is ego can happen different things okay it's not just um like a me 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 attitude it's it's it can be also like feeling like like it can be like from this other person too with the queen of cups in reverse like why did you not um like feeling like why did you um did you not love me back you have to love me back like that kind of feeling i feel like that can also come from ego okay like demanding in a way it's like demanding love it's not it's not condition um it's it's not unconditional in a way okay it's like trying to um maybe it's like an emptiness em emptiness <laughs> emptiness from that this person is trying to feel within their own selves from another person's love that but they have to deal with this 
within their own selves. They need to fill this void within their own self. They're trying to get it from another person. Okay? That's what also got I got from this. But somehow, something happened that this ego, whoever has ego, maybe both of you has ego, this ego was crushed down. Okay? This ego was crushed. At the present moment, I feel like this ego has... um. It's, I mean, it's not, it's not like it's not there anymore, but people might have learned their lesson from their ego. What else? I'll get the final. One more card, okay. What's happening in the present moment? Oh, now we have the Knight of Wands, okay? Knight of Swords before, but now Knight of Wands, passion. Um, this can be sexual also. Feeling like sexually connected with this other person too. Okay, maybe both of you. This person, I feel like whoever this person has, like a more of a, like an ego, they now want to give back, okay? So maybe they now realize because their ego was crushed down, they now realize that they've they might have taken the other person for granted, and then they now do, they would now want to balance this giving and receiving. Okay, maybe the other person, you or the other person, have gave so much, and there's like sexual attraction energy that is between these people here with the Knight of Wands. Okay, so people want to balance this out in the physical six of pentacles. Maybe people are trying to focus more in their career, balancing their own um, material, financial stability, the six of pentacles also, but this is wanting to give back. Someone might have turned their back in this connection before. Now, does this connection have a future? Okay, I got four cards. I'm going to take it. Does this connection have a future? Okay. I, I do think it has a potential. It does. Mm. I feel like people have to deal with um their self-image issues. This kind of pentacles. But I feel like this is someone also that is like a wife. And with the emperor here, this is more like the husband. Also, they're, they're not really like the counterparts, which is the Emperor and the Empress, Queen and the King of Pentacles. But I still see this as husband and wife. So, I feel like... um. You are both wanting commitment, both of you, okay, in the future. I feel like both of you are thinking of that. But at the moment, your energies are not quite um, aligned. But it's aligning. I see this is like there's an um, trying to align. I feel like your desires are aligned on what you both want in the future. But it's not quite, the energies are not quite aligned, okay. People want for uh, um both of you or the other person or you need to deal with this like self image maybe it's connected to ego, um, and people um with the Queen of Pentacles like wanting to give 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 and nourish another person and it might be to the detriment of their own selves. Um, the Emperor is someone that is determined, very very determined, but can also be stubborn. Okay, so concerned with the stability, 
can also be stubborn and um doesn't want to um doesn't want to let go okay i feel like this needs to clear up first i feel like this represents this could represent the spiritual awakening that i was talking about the hangman okay people need to release like being stuck if you're feeling stuck or this person feeling stuck it's because you need to go through um something because it's because you need to really reflect on something because there's a greater wisdom on that because i feel like this is this the other person here is trying to help the other person to go through this spiritual awakening so much it might be too much sometimes because you need to also um if you're the one that's giving very very giving you also need to give to yourself recharge your own batteries and focus on yourself make yourself a priority this needs to clear up i feel like in the future this nine of swords will be released this anxiety this overthinking this anxiety will be cleared up and it, this needs to happen first these two things need to happen first for people to align and um have this more grounded stable future but it's possible in this connection it's possible but this whatever um the healing that needs to happen needs to take place first okay yeah so that's the reading for the people who pick card number two. I hope this resonated. I hope you got something out of this, even though it's a, still a general reading. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. I'm sending you love and light. A reading for the people who pick card number three. This represents your energy or the, um. um one of these cards is your energy and one is the, the energy that the person that you're dealing with is currently in right now, okay? So, I mean, you feel and decide which one is you, which one's the other person. Let's see. Picture of Cups in reverse is that's the Page of Cups for me in this, can I, um, in this deck. Picture of Cups. Exploring the inner landscape and the other person's energy is the star card. Okay. I feel like um, what I'm hearing right now is someone is serving as a guiding light within this connection. They might have been someone that is more... Um, there's not like a more... Um, I don't like uh, using the term that's someone that's like more spiritually evolved than the other person but i mean if this person is doing the work wherever this is then um they might be guiding this other person okay or you might feel like this is the other person that and you feel being guided by them this person doesn't need to do this deliberately, but for for um for most of them they're doing it, they know it and they're aware, okay, and this person might be unaware that they're guiding the other person also. But the more they heal within their own selves, I feel like this person undergoing healing, the more they're able to clear blockages, and the more they're able to really guide. The other person in this connection because this other person here is currently going through lessons within self-love okay self-love okay so now this person okay this person might have rejected this other person and that might have triggered for this person to focus on themselves and focus more on self-love okay you can be thought by and guided by another person in a, um in different ways and that's one way okay it doesn't mean they're trying to be um that's like their soul's way for you for um to be able to teach the other person okay so this person is currently going through self-love 
um, they might be resisting it because it's in reverse. Um, it might be um, it might be something that doesn't come to them naturally. It's like I feel like there might be just been a struggle with this, trying to find self love. That's why this card is in reverse. This teacher of cups is in reverse. Okay, um. But this person needs to focus more on self-care. Find their passions. Find the things that they're passionate about and stick to that. Because um, that usually is their soul's path and that's connected to their success. Um, this person has to sit with their emotions. Okay? Um, Exploring your own inner inner landscape. Ex um really sitting with your emotions. Um even especially even the sad emotions. Okay? This person might have always been avoided um their emotions, especially the sad emotions. It, um but sometimes we really need to surrender to that to really like understand and see where we're because usually when we're sad, that's usually just an indication that we're, there, we're imbalanced in some way. And it doesn't necessarily to be a negative thing. But people usually view it as a negative thing and they just want to like get away from that sadness and um, try to fix it. Okay? When there's not really fixing that needs to happen. Okay. Both... People are healing in different ways here. This person is trying to um, have more hope in the situation. Within their own healing, I feel like the star, the star is like purify, um, trying to detoxify their environment themselves, like purification. The star card also, okay? So that's that star and teacher of cups yeah i'm trying to think what the star card is and then i thought of it so it's aquarius so someone might be an aquarius so it doesn't have to be and then a water sign and the teacher of cups there it doesn't but doesn't have to be okay um what's have taken place in the past what has happened in the past? Before we really answer, like, what does this have a future? What has happened in the past? Okay, three cards here. The world card in reverse. Okay, there might be a distance within these two people. Maybe it did not, um, did not happen because there were problems uh, in maybe a long distance connection or it might possibly be a long distance connection so people were like um i don't think it's gonna work because of that i mean that's what people thought at the time so the world card can be travel but somehow this past um the world card in reverse for me somehow things are not have not ended yet in within these two people okay these people, these two people might have always like connected, but they somehow can't get rid of each other um, within their own lives. Like there, there's always like this, um, I'm sensing like the energy of things are not quite have ended. And it's, um, it's not, not yet the final ending. I'm trying to think of the term, but I can't think of the term right now, but that's how I can describe it. Unfinished business, I think. There's some unfinished business, but it's in the past, okay? Let's see. Queen of Swords in reverse, and what else? The Death card, okay. I see the death card again. Uh, 
whenever I see that card, it's like unwilling to be, unwilling to change, unwilling to change their views, unwilling. I feel like someone might have been so traditional in their way of thinking. You are the other person and they're not, they can't change their views. Their um, old conditioning and all those things. So they're trying to resist the changes. And um, that might, I feel like the Queen of Swords in reverse, it's not a truthful, truthful communication that have taken place. Someone was not able to communicate their truth, the full truth within this situation. You are the other person or both of you. Okay. I feel like also with the Queen of Swords in reverse, People have um or were afraid to um hurt the other person, like that's that's why they're not able to really say the full truth. Afraid to be harsh with their words. Afraid to express express their truth. Because with the death card in, in reverse, someone's making a choice and they're blinded within their making a choice with their decisions. Or they're blinded by something. So, let's see. That's all I'm getting, really. I'm getting also heart chakra with a world card here. Heart chakra healing. Because not being able to express that maybe that's why their heal these healings are happening now as a current energy for you for both of you it's because of what happened here in the in the past someone stopped to change not expressing truthfully maybe both of you are, were not really honest with each other only said the half truth healing of a heart chakra with all the green here with the world guard and also Queen of Swords expressing throat chakra also expressing honesty. That's coming from heart from the heart. So let's see what's happening now. How is um what's the present moment? Yeah, deceptive. Okay. Being deceptive with this and just trying to run away from the truth of the situation. Trying to sneak out from the situation that they're in. Wheel of Fortune and um, this trying to sneak out from the situation that they're in and then they're not really face things. Of course, um, um, I feel like this is like clearing karma with the Wheel of Fortune here. This might have been um karmic connection. People need to um really learn. Uh, uh, any connection is karmic really but when i say karmic connection these two people came together in this lifetime to be able to learn from each other and we have here the ace of swords truth coming out truth is coming out and it's in the present moment about like um a commitment with the hero fund and the hero fund i also did see this as someone that is might have been more concerned with what the society think of them okay this is like reputation self-image also for me but this can also be commitment but the truth is coming out now or maybe the truth has come out in this present moment maybe that's why you're thinking this was not um this was never expressed in the past. So maybe now you're thinking like, is there a future in this connection? Should I um invest in this connection? Because the truth has come out. Before um Okay, 
I feel like there's um also um a divide in the energy here. This might represent the other person, like this might represent you or the other person. You or, um you or the other person. Like there's a divide in the energy here. Like this someone can be can might still be trying to run away from the truth. In a way, they're being deceptive. Run away from the truth. Run away from themselves, and it's um cre creating more like karma with the will of fortune here and someone's like more focused on building um maybe there it's about related to their like um self image and how other people view them how society view them and they're now wanting to be more truthful and really express and be true to themselves be more authentic but someone might have been also thinking about commitment. You or the other person, or both of you, might be thinking about commitment and trying to ex wanting to express that in the present moment with the Ace of Swords, wanting to be truthful. Okay. Oh, what else? I feel like I want to get like one more card in the middle. Yeah. It's a conflict here. It's wherever the King of Swords. Like a lot of swords here. People acting through their mental instead of um their um their heart. Someone wanting to be truthful, but but not really. Like I'm confused. Maybe it's just the other person want to be truthful. The other person wants to run away from the truth, or maybe they're transitioning from being deceptive to being truthful with the use of swords. Here, you are the other person. Maybe people can decide whether they be truthful or not. And it has been a cycle that has been going on and on and on and on with the Wheel of Fortune here. Wanting to be truthful, though. There's this thought that is wanting to be truthful. What do people really want? <laughs> what do you really want? What this what this other person really want? That's like the question here. So I feel like there's a confusion here. Let's see. Let's see this this connection have a future. Let's take a look. This this person um okay, King of Cups. From the King of Swords in reverse, being the Ace of Swords, having Ace of Swords here, King of Cups, I feel like trying to express emotions with the King of Cups here. Finally, getting the emotional balance. Okay, in the future, because currently in the, pre um, the present energies here, with the Teacher of Cups and this Star card here, people are healing. Okay? So people, um, you, both of you, the other person, will be able to find emotional balance. I feel like mainly this other person also with the Teacher of Cups here, as they sit with their emotions and they not resist anymore sit, um, sitting within their emotions, they're going to be able to find this emotional balance with the King of Cups here. I feel like this is also about letting go. How this King of Cups just letting the water flow, okay? Instead of resisting, like letting go. Freeing themselves, freeing the other person. There's like the thought of letting go. And then we have, yeah. Fire. Energy wants to come out. Queen of Wands in reverse. 
whenever I see Queen of Wands, I also talk about like um I feel like there's um something related to confidence. And it's also related to like connecting with intuition. Okay. Maybe people trying to build up confidence to be able to really trust their intuition regarding this connection. Death card again in reverse. People are still trying to if people stay in this um not being able because I feel like there's a spiritual connection with this connection with this um there's a sp something spiritual connection within this and um, if people keep resisting to follow their intuition with the queen of wands here in reverse I feel like nothing will change okay in the future maybe your intuition is telling you to be able to focus on yourself and to be able to really find this emotional balance so if you do that, you're going to be able to find emotional balance. There's still resistance here with the death card in reverse, though. Whoever this is resisting to follow their intuition. Is there a future within this connection? Yes. There might be a future in this connection if people put the work in, okay? Spirit is saying, you can if you put the work in. Work in yourself. Both of you need to put the work in. That's this connection. Uh, maybe people need to focus more on their career, build on their own stability. It could also be that because it's about work and job. And um, people need to put the work in, in terms of healing themselves, he finding this emotional balance. People need to trust their intuition more. And finding this self-confidence. Okay, self-confidence, self-worth with the screen of ones in reverse. Okay, being, because the queen of ones is being like a go-getter. Like if you want something, you go for it. And you 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 don't wait for it. You really like, for example, if you want to achieve something, you don't wait for it. So it might be like a career also. What I'm getting here. Um, if you really want something to to achieve something, you go get it. People don't really like sit around waiting for opportunities, following your intuition and not resisting the changes. That's what need to take place first. And to be able, that's how you're going to get this emotional balance. Okay. But for this connection to have a future, people need to put the work in, work in themselves, work in this connection. It doesn't matter if two people have a spiritual connection with each other. If people don't put the work in, any kind of relationship have, needs need a work in from both sides. Both sides need to make an effort, okay? So people need to do the work. You know how to do your work, your own healing. That's what needs to happen to ensure that this connection have a future, okay? So yeah, that's your reading. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Um, this is still um, a general reading. And I love you so much and I'm sending you love and